Hey guys, Jonathan here. Well, I recently did a video here on the channel talking about the top 10 worst priced Lego Marvel sets ever. And actually, to my surprise, that video did really, really well. So, like Thanos, I want things to be perfectly balanced, as all things should be, and today we're going to talk about the top 10 best-priced LEGO Marvel sets. Now, let me explain what that actually means. In general, across the board, across all themes, it's generally accepted that 10 cents per piece is a good price ratio for LEGO sets. So, for example, that means like a $20 set should have roughly 200 pieces. Now, there are some extra things that factor into this, like how many minifigures are included, if the set is from a licensed theme, and so on and so on and so on. And thanks to my friends over at BrickSet.com, we can actually break down the list and find out exactly which sets give you the best price to piece ratio. Now I do have some caveats as we get into the list. There are a lot of mechs that would be on the list, you know, like the Wolverine mech, the Iron Man mech, and so on and so on and so on. In fact, there's so many that more than half the list would be mechs if we include those, so I got a little creative with the accounting here. I'm sliding the $10 mech sets in as honorable mentions. That way we get the top 10 actual sets, and then the mechs are kinda in their own category, so we get the best of both worlds. So I guess really this might be more like the top 15 or top 20, but anyways, let's get into the video. At number 10, we have the Royal Talon Fighter Attack from Black Panther. This set retailed for $30 back in the day and gives you a price to piece count of 8.4 cents per piece. Not too bad, especially with all of those cool minifigures, pretty much all of which were exclusive with the exception of Black Panther. So that's really, really cool. And I think this set has aged really well. At honorable mention, we have the first mech on the list and this comes in at 8.3 cents per piece, the Captain America mech, which was $10. So for number eight and nine, we actually had a two-way tie, and to break the tie, I put the lower priced set at the higher point because technically you're paying less money for better value, even though the price to piece ratio is the same. So at number nine, we have the Spider Mech versus Venom set, which had 8.3 cents per piece and retailed for $49.99. This was such a cool set, and honestly, I really thought that this was a good value back in the day, and I'm glad to see it holds up all this time later. At number 8, because it was $10 cheaper, we have the Iron Man Iron Monger Mayhem set at 8.3 cents per piece. This retailed for $40, and man, this is such a great set. It's technically our only set based off of the first Iron Man movie, so for that alone it makes it awesome, but I definitely think this was worth every penny of 40 bucks. We have another honorable mention at 8.1 cents per piece, and that is the Black Panther mech at $9.99. At number seven, also at 8.1 cents per piece, we have the Spider Jet versus Venom Mech, which retailed for $30. This was a decent set. I don't really love it, but as you'll see, mechs are really, really great at helping the price to piece ratio. So when a set includes a mech, it definitely helps its chances of being on this list. This set also came with Spider-Man Noir, who has skyrocketed in price over the years. So this was definitely a good buy back in the day at $30. An honorable mention is the Miles Morales mech up next at $0.08 cents per piece, and it was $10 when it retailed. At number six and number five, we had another tie. So this tie was a little harder because both sets were $30. I broke this one down by the minifigures included because one had three minifigs and one had four. The set that had three minifigs was the Iron Man Detroit Steel Strike set, which had an eight cent per piece ratio at $30. And this was such a cool set with three exclusive minifigures, technically our only Lego Agent Coulson still to this date. You did get the car and again, kind of a mech with Detroit steel and it's definitely a great set but because the next set gave you one more minifig I did rank it just a little bit higher. At number five we have the Infinity War Hulkbuster smash up at eight cents per piece and a $30 retail price. Now look I know that that extra minifigure is technically an outrider which you know we have way too many of at this point but it was still a pretty good value you got Falcon with the wings it was our first Hulkbuster in three years at that point so it was definitely a really cool set archivally at that point and I still think it's a great set to this day, although the new Infinity Saga uh, Hulkbuster is so, so much better. At number four, we have the Venomized Groot set, which came in with 7.9 cents per piece, and this retailed for $50. Now, this didn't come with a minifigure or anything, but it was a really, really great 
improvement on the previous I Am Groot figure, and it even comes with more pieces for, I believe, the exact same price. So not taking inflation into account, this is a really, really great set, and it's a really fun build, and I liked it a lot. We've got an honorable mention with the 2022 Iron Man mech, which was 7.7 .7 cents per piece at $10. Now this one, in my opinion, is a little controversial. Is it one of the best valued sets? Well, technically by price to piece ratio, yes, but it's a set that not a lot of people like or honestly even remember at this point. At number three, we have the Eternals Aerial Assault with 7.5 cents per piece and a $10 price point. Now you did get two minifigures, one of which was exclusive with Sprite, but honestly, the love for Eternals has not lasted eternally, and I just think that this is a set that is gonna be lost to the sands of time. So even though it was a great value, it's not really memorable, and it's not one that's really, really worth getting excited about all these years later. At number two, we have the Venom Crawler. This was a strange one because you could get it from LEGO Retail and LEGO Online, but the only other place you could get it, in the United States at least, was Walmart of all places. This was a 7.3 cent price to piece ratio, and it was $30, so not bad getting that Venomized Iron Man minifig, which was exclusive to this set, and that's quite awesome. All right, guys, this is where things get just a little bit squirrely. So I'm not counting mechs as their own entry on this list. They're honorable mentions, but there's like a race to the finish with how great these mechs were valued. So let me get into it. At 6.6 .6 cents price per piece, we have the Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus mech set and the Spider-Man and Green Goblin mech set. These were both $20 and again, gave you a pretty great price to piece ratio. And then the Thanos, Spider-Man, 2020 Iron Man, Wolverine, and Thor mechs were all $9.99 a piece. And they gave you anywhere from 6.6 .6 cents per piece to 7.1 cents per piece, which because of that low price of $9.99 made them all a really good value, especially in the context of this list. And I really, really think that these are really great mech sets if you're into mechs, that is. But yeah, those are all the honorable mentions. And this is truly unbelievable to me. The best price to piece ratio set ever for Lego Marvel as of this point in 2023 is the Captain America Shield. No, I'm not kidding. Even at $200, it comes out to a price to piece ratio of 6.4 cents, which is honestly a really great value, especially compared to everything else on this list. So I literally do not like the Captain America shield set at all, but it is pretty wild that technically it is the best bang for your buck that the Lego Marvel theme has ever given us. So I guess life is just full of surprises, isn't it folks? Anyways, that's today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you wanna see next year on the channel. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm Jonathan with Mini Superheroes Today. I'd love for you to stick around. So I'll see you on the next video.